Always have to be aware of those dangerous knees coming in. And he is making his debut. He's from McAllen, Texas. He came in at 134. be interesting to see if he tries to maybe open up with a good head kick or something to really kind of set the pace here against a shorter opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the bantamweight division and is brought to you by Budweiser. Our referee in charge, Jacob Montalvo. Introducing first, fighting out the blue corner. He stands at even six feet tall and weighted at 134 pounds. Raised in the fighting disciplines of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing, and wrestling. He makes his amateur debut here tonight. Representing Full Force MMA, fighting out of Far Texas, Mark Throwdown Sunshine. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out the red corner. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall and weighed in at 132 and 1 half pounds. Raised in the fighting disciplines of Gracie, Jiu Jitsu, and Muay Thai. As an amateur, he is undefeated at one victory, no defeats. Representing the Texas Punishment Crew, fighting out of McAllen, Texas. Still at 135. Here we go. Ooh, no glove touch. We got. <laughs> Ooh, nice, uh, nice leg kick there. There he goes. Nice jab. He's keeping his hands high. That's what he needs to do right there. He needs to duck underneath those punches and angle off, though. Especially against a southpaw opponent. He needs to try to set up that straight right hand. Got some stiff leg kicks there by Salceda. He's the shorter of the two. Both fighters in black trunks. Salceda's the shorter of the two. Salceda Sanch knows what he needs to do here. Nice takedown. Let's see if... Look at this. Salceda working a guillotine as they stand up from the scramble. It's deep. If he could turn around and put his back... Oh, oh now he's got it locked. Here he goes. And it looks like it's deep enough. It looks like Can you see, enough. Cody? Is it deep enough? Got to be very careful here. Very careful. Man, that is... Oh, wow. Wow, he got out of it. Sanchez on top, getting out of the guillotine, wants to stand up. Wow. Away. Yeah, I don't think so he wanted to get on the ground a little there. confident with that. He needs to keep his hands up and keep them tight. Especially with the wrong reach, but some stiff yeah. kicks there by Salceda. Sanchez with a straight right to the body. That was loud. Oh, wow. Nice lead hook. Looked like it rocked him a little bit. He's going backwards. I there think so, is. too. There he goes. Sanchez coming in. His hand's a little low. Salceda outside. He needs to get inside. No, Cody, just an observation here. Looks like Salceda may be gassed just a tad bit, taking some deep breaths and fresh of some air. Not oh. saying he's completely tired, but... Yeah, you hang on to a guillotine like that for that long, and that blood can really kind of start rushing to those arms. And, he, and I tell you what, Sanchez is able is landing some of these jabs, some of these shots, a nice shot to the body. I think if he sticks with that lead hook that he's throwing from that southpaw stance, he's, he's been landing that, been pretty successful with that punch so far. Looks like Salcedo's confused as to what he wants to do here. He's just kind of eating punches. Had a good takedown earlier. Looks like he might be setting up for one here. Keep that chin down when it comes forward. Sanchez might catch him coming in. There he oh, goes. Nice left. Salcedo backing up. He looks a little staggered, but his legs are under him. He needs to, he, he can't just sit there with his hands on his head. Salcedo's got to throw yeah. something to set up a takedown. Yeah, he's going to take some punches here. Sanchez teeing off on him right now. Right in front of us, and Sanchez looks very comfortable in the pocket. Looks like he's established his range, and he's keeping him at bay with those jabs. Superman punch, no go. As you're watching, Salceda is the shorter of the two with the final 10 seconds, round number two. Do something big here. Oh, 
All right, Cody, an interesting first round because who do you give it to? Do you give it to Sauceda, who was uh, who put on the uh, submission move, was able to hold on, couldn't get it, or do you give it to Sanchez, who was the more active of the two fighters? Definitely got to give that one to Sanchez. Um, you know, it was a great submission attempt, um, it, but, you know, he escaped from it, and he never really pulled guard and established his submission on the ground. He kind of got desperate with it, jumped guard. Sanchez stayed standing up the entire time in the guillotine, worked out of it, and then really pressured Sauceda. Had him up against the fence, found his range, and started switching up orthodox southpaw, keeping him at bay with jabs and nice, strong lead hooks. Yeah, I think if you're Sanchez, you want to try to stay away from the kicks. Uh, the one kick attempt he tried earlier in the first round, he got a single leg takedown from it, and then uh, he almost nearly got it in the second round. But uh, definitely Sanchez, the more active of the two, I agree with you. I think he wins 10 round first round. Thank you. Yeah, I'm with you. I definitely give that one 10 round, Sanchez. And round number two, bout number two, Texas Rage in the Cage Amateur Association. Chad Cooper from the Cage Siders, along with the champ, Cody Williams. Round number two. So Sanchez comes out in an orthodox, now switching to southpaw. On with that jab. Now back to orthodox. Sauceda just looks confused as he switches stances as well. He goes to a southpaw stance. And Sanchez in the orthodox. Now if, you, lead hook to if you keep doing that back and forth, is that because you're unsure of yourself? Not unsure of yourself or you're not knowing you know, particularly what to do right now. And a nice right hand though. Sauceda switching to southpaw leads the lead, lands the lead hook there. Oh, and he eats a right after attempted kick there. Nice block by Sanchez on the kick. And he may be just be switching in response to his opponent to give him another look. As sure. his opponent gives him a different look, you know. Just. Right. Sauceda coming in eating punches, but it looks like he's, trying, he's been landing a few more punches this round than he has in the last. Oh, nice, nice left hook, hook by Sanchez. And follows Sanchez that up with a, yeah, with a decent combination. Sauceda needs to go for a jab uppercut right here. I think that'd be successful with his opponent in that southpaw stance. Sauceda working the legs, trying to soften him up. Sanchez having none of it, shaking his head. Switches stances again. Looks, he's going to be looking for that lead hook right here, I believe. Jab to the body by Sanchez. Sauceda. Ooh. I'm really surprised Sanchez hadn't tried to throw any kicks. I mean, I guess he, you know, probably that one that he took the takedown. But, sure. You know, um, his, his opponents are keeping his hands awfully high on the punches, and if he ended a combination with a good kick to the body or leg, it could really do some damage. He was able to get a few punches to the body, but he's only attempted two kicks, as you mentioned. This is round number two. Oh, that's a nice, that connected, a nice right hook. Sanchez lands. And he smells blood. Misses on the uppercut, doesn't miss on the right, though. Salceda trying to fight back. Then he comes back with a nice lead hook to the body. Sanchez really working Salceda here. Kick by Salceda, followed up by punch by Sanchez. Salceda needs to keep that chin down, throwing that jab coming in. Sanchez back to the southpaw stance. This is round number two. Both fighters keep switching. Sauceda is the shorter of the two, if you're watching this. Both in black trucks. Oh, oh and a Sauceda nice left. Big overhand left. And that could get him to fire back in. Now he smells a little bit of it. Sanchez striking well, walking backwards, keeping his opponent off of him. Good jab to the body there. I think those body punches are starting to add up. I see Sauceda's hands dropping, and he's kind of taking some deep breaths here. Last 10 seconds of round number two. Texas Rage of the Cage, 15. And once again, Cody, I just think it's another 10-9 round for Sanchez.
round number three, Cody Williams, fight number two. I think we both have the same. We're in agreement that Sanchez is probably up two to zero here. I like the fire by Salcedo on that last he one. Did. He landed a nice right punch. Round number three, here we go. Same situation as the first fight. We've got one opponent down two rounds. Going to have to finish to win the fight. Let's see what happens. There he goes. He's applying the pressure. Sanchez doing a good job of eating those kicks and punching off of them. Sanchez working that um, or, uh, southpaw style. Switching to orthodox. Big right hand lands to the opponent's head. Salcedo trying to return strikes here. Stalking. What does Salcedo's corner tell him? What they tell him coming out of the third round, knowing he's probably down 2 0? Is it good to tell a fighter, hey, this is your fighter? Is it good to tell a fighter, hey, you're down 2 0? It's time to take chances. If, I mean, if, if you really, if, if they are decisive losses in the rounds, you know, if you're really down 10 9, you know, you got to let your fighter know. You got to let your fighter be. Some aware. urgency. Because the last thing you want to do is send your fighter out there in the third round. Him thinking he's up and cruise into a unanimous decision loss. Right in front of us here. Oh, Sauceda just took a nice right hook. But he's ate some punches, and you got to give it to the kid. He's hung in there. His hands are down a little bit. Kick that leg. I know Sanchez is going to need to ice those legs down tomorrow for sure. Yeah, he is. Land blast. <laughs> you are right about that. Nice hook to the body. So Sato got to use a little more head movement when he's coming in or he's going to keep getting caught. He's stalking his opponent, but he needs to angle off and cut the cage off from him. There he goes. He dips in with double underhooks. Sanchez works out of it. Salcedo with a leg kick. Sanchez coming forward with punches. Salcedo returning a couple jabs. Salcedo looking like he's trying to go for a KO here. Some nice uppercuts there. Oh, Sanchez looking a little tired. His mouth is starting to um, breathe with his mouth open. Now. Sure is. Oh, nice uh, one-two punch there by Sanchez. Mm. You really can't hesitate on those kicks like that. You know, that's a good way to get knocked out. Let's take should probably try to utilize some knees here. He's got his opponents back to the cage. If he just dipped in and applied some pressure, he could have him up against the cage and maybe take a little break or work some knees. Salcedo alternating the positions. Now he's got his opponent going backwards. And there we see the tie clinch from Sanchez working the knees, like I was just talking about. Salcedo turning the fight around. Got Sanchez up against the cage, working some uppercuts to the body. Sanchez turns it around again. Cody, you think, you think that just comes from experience, maybe? You know, fighter making his debut, you may be 1-0. You know, it, it, yeah, you know, I mean, he, he, he's got to know right there, you know. Oh, wow, Sanchez really trying to unload with some hooks here. Yeah, it is. Both of them swinging to the end of the end of the fight. Nice. Nice three rounds of just pure punching. Mark Sanchez and Michael Saucedo. It'll go to the scorecards, Cody, in my opinion. I think Sanchez took all three rounds. What are your thoughts going in there as the judges uh, make their final decisions? Uh, it'd be interesting. I, I might have gave that last round to Saucedo. You know, he, he uh, applied okay. more pressure, I think, and uh, he landed some you know, landed some big punches in that round. It'll be interesting to see what the uh, how the refs saw the first round with that uh, guillotine attempt by Saucedo against Sanchez and uh, whether or not they gave him the round. All right, Cody, we'll go to the judges' scorecard and uh, keep watching. We'll be right back with uh, fight number three.
Phillips scores about 29-28 in favor of Salcedo. Ray Saragosa scores about 32-27.